he was right around the corner. Well, hey there, guys. We have left Omaha on a short road trip to South Dakota. Yeah, and on the way, we had a fun stopover in Mitchell, South Dakota to see the world's only corn palace. It is decorated on the outside with corn. And this year's theme is Under the Big Top. So it had all kinds of circus uh, decorations. It had clowns and tigers and trapeze oh and elephants. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's really neat. Yeah, and on the inside, it's actually a functioning facility. It has athletic events. They have a rodeo inside there, concerts. Sometimes an actual three-ring circus is, right. is inside this facility. Uh, the high school team plays their basketball games there, and they're called the Mitchell Colonels. Colonels. <laughs> like, Not the kind that you salute in the military, but... Like corn. corn. Or popcorn. <laughs> exactly. And we saw a billboard, and it said, pop on in. So it's kind of a fun fun place to stop and, and, and check it out. Yeah, definitely. When we're road tripping from one place to the next, we do like to stop into some of these unusual places along the way mm -hmm. and share those with you guys as well. Well, over the next few days, what we're going to be sharing with you is the Black Hills. We are here for a few days, and today, up for our first stop is Custer State Park, where we're going to take you on a couple of our favorite hikes. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we're out for our first hike of the day. It's the Sylvan Lake Loop. It's an easy one miler around the perimeter of the lake. So let's go take a look. So there's one main trail that goes around the lake, but then there are a lot of little offshoots where you can play on the rocks or come to some little coves like this one. So plenty to explore even as you kind of meander off the main trail a little bit. rated as easy and this side is easy but the other side does have a little elevation gain uh, quite a few steps and some rocks that you have to climb over so it's not a really easy trail so you might want to keep that in mind if you decide to hike it. So 
we finished our first hike and we are on our way to our second hike. In order to get there, we have to go on Needles Highway and it is a little scary to me because there are a couple of tunnels, especially one called the Needles Eye Tunnel, which is very narrow and has very low clearance for the top of our van. Our, our, the width of our van and the height of it are very close to what the tunnel is. Are you nervous, Jimmy? I am not nervous because we have three inches of clearance. Plenty of clearance. <laughs> hope he's got hope he's doing his best driving today. It's a bit of a squeeze, Paula. It's very tight in here. I really could reach up and touch the side. Oh me. It's weird. Does it make you nervous? It makes me very nervous. Handled Yay, like a we made it pro, through. Man. Woo! Good machine. driving. We are out for our second hike of the day. It is Cathedral Spires. It's a 3.2 mile out and back. And we've done this hike before and it's beautiful and we're excited to get back out there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh goodness, <laughs> holy smokes dude, there's a mountain goat right here, I just came upon him, he about scared me half to death, well, I was not expecting to see him, me either, oh, yeah. what a treat to I see mean, him up here, he was, listen, he was right around the corner. I saw, did you hear me? <laughs> he must scare right me here. to death.
Well, we're headed back to the camper van. That was really, really exciting to see that mountain goat. It was. It's always a beautiful trail, but that added a little something special today. Yeah, the scenery that you see is, is amazing. I mean, we love the cathedral spires. Uh, we love lakes. We love all the different things that you get to see just in the natural surroundings. But getting to see wildlife is especially a, a treat. It is. You know that the spires are going to be here every time you come out here, but the mountain goat's not always going to be visible to you. <laughs> That's true. And so seeing That's the wildlife true. is always a fun treat. While visiting the Black Hills, we're staying in Custer State Park at the Legion Lake Campground, which we are absolutely loving. It has 26 sites, modern showers, strong connectivity to wireless carriers, and is adjacent to its namesake, Legion Lake, which we're going to give you a quick look at right now. working on tonight? Well, we are going to have frito chili pies. So I'm going to start out with making the chili. It's real easy uh, with the Tex-Mex chili seasoning. And then we are going to add fritos and cheese, and it is going to be delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> Me either. And since we started off our evening meal with frito pies, we decided we'd finish off the meal with some sugary pies. So we dropped by the Purple Pie Place in Custer, the town of Custer, not Custer State Park. And we picked up a couple of our favorites. One is peanut butter pie. It's got some chocolate drizzle and peanuts on top. And of course, who could resist? Good old fashioned apple pie. Well, Paula, what are we gonna start with tonight? Well, since I ordered the apple, we're gonna try that one first. So here goes. Mmm. That is really good. All that sugar on top and is yummy. Well, since I ordered the blueberry pie, I'm going to have the peanut, peanut butter pie. <laughs> I did order the blueberry pie, and out of the 847 pies, maybe not that many, but of all the pies they have, the one that they were out of was the blueberry pie. So a great backup is always peanut butter, and that's what I'm going to try now. Mm. I gotta be honest. I'm glad that they, they didn't have blueberry. Because that peanut butter was as good as any we've ever had. Well, that was delicious. It was good to be able to cook something in the camper and a little more health well, maybe a maybe a little more healthy. That's my <laughs> kind of health food. Right. With the frito chili pies. And then also to be able to go and enjoy something local right. with the other, the peanut butter pie and the apple pie. Pie and pie. Pie square. That's a great two course meal. <laughs> if we'd have had time for a three or four course meal, <laughs> I could have stacked some more pie right, in there. And right. that would have made me just happy. <laughs> uh, well, that's a great way to end the day, yeah. right? Uh, but that's not the end of our time here in the Black Hills. It's not even the end of our time here at Custer State Park. There's so much more that we want to show you here. Um, we still want to show you one of the best hikes in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to show you the highest peak in South Dakota and there is lots of wildlife that we want to bring your way, including some begging burrows that you can actually feed. So we're going to get to that. You're going to want to stick around for our next episode to see all of that and a lot more. That's it for our mission. What's your mission? It's an easy one-miler around the perimeter of the lake. Lake! <laughs>
Wait, are you doing it or me? Are you doing it or am I doing it? We saw a mountain goat one time as we were driving, but not... Oops. When I rounded the corner, um, I needed to go to the restroom, and after I saw <laughs> the mountain goat, I no longer needed to go to the restroom. <laughs> kind of... That's no good. That's no good. <laughs> a, a building that's decorated on the outside with actual corn. Right. Cobs and husks and all the various right. parts of a, of a corn. This... Of a... <laughs> Well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun field adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. One of the ways we do this is through a short faith-based thought for the day that I write. They take about a minute to read each day. They're free and they're available at finishlinefaith.com or facebook.com forward slash finishlinefaith. I hope you'll take a look. 